Good morning or afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this video. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of review of something that you guys probably already know really, really well because we've been working on it all year long. But today um, we're going to do a little bit of review on um, remembering and telling about the beginning, middle, and end of a story. So it, if we're looking at a story, when we are reading, we want to be thinking about the different parts of the story. We don't just want to look for, okay, this is one thing that happened at the beginning, this is one thing that happened at the middle, and one thing that happened at the end. If you'll remember when we're reading, and we're reading a book, at the beginning of the story, we want to be looking for the characters and the setting. Remember the characters are who the story is about and the setting is where it takes place. In the middle of the story we want to be looking for the problem. Most of our stories are going to have a problem that the characters are trying to solve. In the end of the story, we're normally going to find the solution. So let's say that in our story, the problem was that it was raining and I really needed to go to the store, but I didn't want to get wet. My solution could be to put on a rain jacket and to bring an umbrella. What if our problem was that our favorite toy broke and we were going to bring it with us to our friend's house for a play date? What could be our solution? Maybe we could fix our toy or we could bring a different one. Those are both great solutions. Maybe you had a different one. So we're going to read a book together today. And while we're reading, I want you to help me figure out What's happening at the beginning of the story with our characters and setting? What's happening in the middle? What's our problem? And what's happening at the end? What's our solution? Now, the book we're going to read today is probably one that you've read or heard before. But I want you to really be thinking about the beginning, middle, and end of the story while we're reading. This book is The Pow Pow Fish. This is one of my very, very favorites. All right, so as we get reading, I want you to be thinking about the beginning, middle, and end. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. So right off from the very beginning of the story, we already know who our character is. Who is our character in this story? The pout pout fish, good. And what's the setting? If you look at the picture, what's the setting? Good, it's in the ocean, in the sea. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Mrs. Clam, I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary, um, I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with such a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. What do you think the problem is in this story so far? Right, the pow pow fish is so sad and he always looks so sad with that frown on his face, exactly. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, 
blub. He's a pretty sad looking fish. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite, which means not polite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell you to... Uh, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum, which means he's meant to be sad. So what's our problem? We're at the middle of our story now. What's our problem? Right, the, that the pow pow fish thinks that he just has a sad face. The pow pow fish, all his friends are trying to cheer him up, but it's not working. They're trying to say, you need to smile more, but nothing is getting him to smile. I'm a pow pow fish with a pow pow face, so I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. But she approaches, uh, but she approaches Mr. Fish. But instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout. And then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Smooch. Oh my goodness, look at that blue and purple fish. That is crazy. All right, so let's do, on my board over here, let's do a little bit of writing about the beginning, middle, and end of the story. So we talked about how the beginning of the story is going to tell us about the characters and the setting. So let's think about our story, The Pow Pow Fish. What did we learn at the very beginning? What did we learn about the characters and the setting? Who are the characters in this story? Right, we had the pout pout fish, the octopus, the jellyfish, all of those sea creatures, but the most important was the pout pout fish. So I'm going to say, oh, my marker's not working. The main character was pout pout fish. Now, where did he live? Where did the pow pow fish live? What was the setting? In the ocean. Good. So the main character was pow pow fish, who lived in the ocean. Perfect. Okay, now let's think about the middle of the story, the problem. What was the problem? Good, Mr. Pout Pout Fish had a very 
pouty and sad face. So I'm um, um so I'm just gonna write pout pout fish had a very pouty and sad face all the time. No one wants to look sad all the time. That's not very fun. All right, now let's think about this last one, the end. What was the solution? The big purple fish came and kissed him. And when he got that kiss, he realized he didn't have a pouty face. He had a kissy face. So I'm going to write, when the purple fish kissed him, he realized... He had a kissy face. Not a sad face. So let's read back over what we wrote for the beginning, middle, and end and see if it retells the story pretty well. At the beginning, the main character was Pout Pout Fish who lived in the ocean. Does that match up with our story? Mm -hmm. In the middle, Pout Pout Fish had a very pouty and sad face all the time. That was the problem. At the end, when the purple fish kissed him, he realized he had a kissy face and not a sad face. Does that match up with what we read in the Pout Pout Fish? It sure does. We were able to use the beginning, middle, and end to tell the story. So this week, as you guys are reading different books, maybe in your house or on Raz Kids, um, you're either going to have a piece of paper or you're going to have a form to fill out online to tell your teachers about the beginning, middle, and end of the story that you read. And we can't wait to read about all the different stories that you read this week with your families. Um, have a great week. We miss you guys so much and can't wait until we all get to be back together again. Um, have a great Monday.